Hi everyone, I'm Bryn Campbell and today I'm going to be teaching you how to write a song. So while you're watching this video, I want you to keep in mind one important thing. Take all of these steps and tips with a grain of salt. Everyone is their own artist and has their own perfectly unique songwriting process that works for them. Over time, you will develop that songwriting process that works for you. But this is a good way to start. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. Step one, find your inspiration. In my opinion, and many other artists like Usher, Billie Eilish, Olivia Rodrigo, and probably any other artist you can think of, inspiration is a huge part of songwriting. It's what inspires you and helps you write your best songs. So to do this, start by writing down five artists that really inspire you and get you into that creative mood. Then pick one to really study. If you aren't getting the inspiration you are looking for, try studying someone else. You don't want to copy their techniques and songs, but borrowing a little pizzazz can't hurt. I know that sometimes when I listen to a certain song, it really makes me feel something and I think, gosh, I want to write a song like that someday. That is what you are looking for. Once you find that song, try listening to more songs by the same artist and you will find your inspiration. Step two, choose a topic. For me, this might be the hardest part of writing a song. Now, you can just write about nonsense and whatever comes to mind, but typically if you have a clear, relatable story that you are telling through your song, it is more likely to connect to your audience. One way to find that story is to write from experience. What is something that is bothering you in your life right now? Or what is something that makes you really happy? Do you have a story from your past that you could tell through your songs? If you don't feel like you have enough experience in your past that you could write a song, then just come up with a story or write about someone else. As long as it is connecting to your audience, then you have a song. Step three, draft the lyrics. This step is really important and might be the most crucial part of writing a song. Keep in mind that a lot of artists don't start so early on with this step, but in this video, we are going to. Now, like I said earlier, the lyrics are really important and they are certainly a process. The lyrics are what is telling the story and they're what connects to your audience, what makes them want to listen again and again to find out what your song really means. So some lyric tips are, if you can't find the perfect rhyme, alliteration works too. Use unique words as often as you can. Make sure that you are telling the truth in your lyrics. Make sure your audience can understand your lyrics and tell a story. Step four, experiment with melody. This step is such a great part of the songwriting process and in my opinion is the most fun. As a songwriter, there are going to be times when you fail, when you come up with a melody that isn't very catchy and just doesn't feel right for your song. This is not bad, not unique, just a regular old part of the process. That is why it is important to experiment with your melodies before you decide on something. Billie Eilish, a pop artist you may have heard of, uses this technique all the time in her songwriting. She and her brother just sit in the studio and play different beats and noises until they were really feeling what they've come up with. Every single person has their own process, but I really think sitting down and just experimenting with melodies is a good way to go. Here are some tips for coming up with melodies. Use repetition. This is a way to make sure your audience can remember and sing your songs. Also use contrast. You can make your verses different tempos than your chorus or make your bridge lower than the rest of your song. Don't make your chord progressions too complicated. They might sound really simple when your song is at the bare bones stages, but as you continue on the process, there will be more added. Warning. This tip is going to save your songwriting life. Drum roll, please. Record all of your ideas. If you forget a good idea, then it is one of the most devastating things that can happen to a songwriter. You might remember it later, but 
Chances are you won't. I can't even tell you how many voice memos I have recorded on my phone. Don't worry about just recording the really good ideas. Just get everything. You can always delete recordings, but you can't make them reappear when you need them. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Step six, make your lyrics and melody flow together. This tip is one you should keep in mind whenever you are writing. When your melody and lyrics are very contrasting, sometimes the song doesn't make very much sense. For example, if you wrote really sad lyrics, but then had an upbeat, happy melody, then while well, something about your song is going to sound a bit off, try to match your melody and lyrics so your song portrays the correct idea that you are trying to put out into the world. Step seven, ask for feedback. This step can be really stressful and nerve wracking for all of us. You are putting yourself out there and making yourself vulnerable, asking for honest feedback about a song you have already worked so hard on. I know that when I have worked really hard on a song, I just want people to like it. But it is crucial to get someone else to listen to your song and give an honest opinion. It may not be what you want to hear, but also make sure you ask someone who will actually be honest with you. Just getting compliments from your mom and best friend isn't really going to push you along. There is nothing wrong with getting praise, but some critiques are good also. Step eight, collaboration. Some of us love it and some of us hate it. No matter which side you're on, collabing with someone can sometimes be really helpful. You get varying ideas, honest feedback, and you can have fun. But you can't just collaborate with anyone. There are definitely times where you try to work with someone, but it just doesn't work. Maybe even someone you really like. You may disagree or both want to be in charge and it doesn't work out. But when you find the person you can work really well with, you can combine both of your talents and skills to make amazing things. This step isn't for everyone, but I would recommend trying it out. Step nine, bring your entire song together. Okay, it's been a crazy journey of writing, experimenting, finding inspiration, getting feedback, sharing your music, maybe collaborating, and more. Now it is time for you to get your song together and put on the finishing touches. This might be finding someone who can professionally record your song or just finishing up the final chords of your accompaniment. Whatever it is, do that now and finish up your song. Step 10. The last and final step. You've finished your song and now it is time to show it off. You don't have to share your music, but it can be a good reward for all of your hard work. I have been working on a song with you while making this video and now it is time for me to share it with you. A little backstory, I wrote this song for a teacher who started this outdoor class and I've been going to it every week with my friends. It makes me so much happier and I'm so sad that it's coming to an end. So me and my friends are going to perform this song that I wrote for her. I hope you enjoy. Here it is, Wesley's song.